Hey guys, how's it going? Pete Mercer here. So today I'm going to show you how to make some banana bread. Low fat as well. So let's get started. Number one, turn your oven on to 180 degrees Celsius. Um, or whatever it is in Fahrenheit. And right, let's get to adding the ingredients. Ingredient number one is butter, but today we're going to use applesauce because it's low in fat. You'll be amazed at how the replacements work in this. So we've got um, 20 grams of Bramley applesauce, and then instead of adding sugar, we're going to add some sweetener. Um, you could use stevia or whatever you want. I'm using seven teaspoons if that helps you at all. Um, so then what we're going to do to this is kind of mash it together. Um, it's, it's called creaming, but you don't really cream applesauce. So um, just mix it together until it's thoroughly done. It will look like that, which is basically just applesauce. Basically, the, the sweetener will just mix into it. So once we've done that, we're going to add um, our eggs. So we've got two eggs to add to this, and as we know, um, eggs are replaced by Miller Lite yogurt. So we're only going to use half of this carton, so you want to add a quarter now, um, and then mix that together. Once we've done that, we want to add the next quarter. Um, so it's all about getting the right consistency, really, with this, so it's that's why you only add bits at a time. It's, it's, it's halves of most of the stuff. So we'll start mixing that together as well. Get a nice consistency there. Then we want to add half a teaspoon of baking powder. And, I mean, yeah, it's basically just sodium. Um, so if you've got a big worry about that, you might be able to do without it. it it's not going to matter that much. So to that, we're going to add 25 grams of plain flour. And obviously, of course, we have to be precise. We want to hit our numbers. It's important. These are the things we do, and it takes forever to watch. Come on. There. Okay, good. Right. So, um, same as before, we're just going to mix this together, get a nice consistency like that. Um, it'll basically just look like dough. Um, a nice moist dough. So to this, then we add the next 25 grams of flour. Again, being precise. Again, taking forever. I hope I cut this short. It's like three seconds, honest. Okay, good. Right, flour done. And to that, we're going to add 25 milliliters of skimmed milk. And I know this doesn't take as long, because it goes bloop, and then I'm done. There we go. Okay, cool. So, add that, and then basically, mix it all together again. Baking's really simple, if you know. You could basically throw... If you put flour and, and milk and anything together, you can just mix it up. It'll pretty much work. Okay, so to that we're going to you know, weigh out one banana. It could be whatever you want, like 50, 70 grams. Um, so just use one banana. It'll work fine. And then mash it up a bit and then add it to our, our lovely mixture there. And once we've done that, we're just going to mix it up a bit. Once we get all the banana off ourselves. Also good form here. Make sure you clean your work surfaces. Don't be spreading bacteria or anything nasty like that. So, Oh yeah, one more. Th like, this is just kind of like nuanced stuff. I really like vanilla. So adding a, a capful or a teaspoon of vanilla to this. And just to be fancy, I thought I'd add just a little dash of cinnamon as well. There we go. So get those. And I'll just give you a bit of a kick. So... Nice little flavours. You can also add nuts, raisins, berries, fruit, whatever stuff. But obviously I've got the banana in there because this is uh, ostensibly banana bread. So mix that all together and then put down a um, like cake tin, loaf tin or whatever. The problem is obviously you normally make like six servings or something and this is only one. So you could probably use muffin cases or something like that. Um, I just so happen to have... Um, this is really cool actually. It's a, it's a massive donut shaped kind of mold thing you get two of them and basically you're supposed to fill it with with mixture and then you put one on top of the other and it looks like a donut and woo -hoo, exciting stuff so we want to uh, level this off with a spoon make sure it's nice and neat and um, obviously finish the rest of your yogurt because it's just tasty so this is what it's going to look like nice and level put it in the oven 
Uh, I highly recommend doing this with two hands because that could have gone so wrong if I had have dropped that. So get that in there and let's not forget 180 degrees, show now. And this will take anywhere between 25 minutes to half an hour. Just wait until it's nicely coloured. Test it with a skewer if you want. Make sure it comes out clean. Um, all the usual stuff. And once you've got that nicely down. Presentation, always important, of course. So on the plate, boom, bread. And it looks really nice as well. It's like a like a bagel or a yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a bagel. So that's absolutely top. And then uh, again, do not try to cut it one handed with a spoon. So we'll cut to zing. Presentation. Looks good, doesn't it? So um obviously proof in the pudding, let's try it again. Obviously it tastes wonderful because everything I make is gorgeous. So yeah, definitely try it out. I love it. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'm Pete Mercer. Take it easy. Look at that mug.